Good afternoon, George Cable Eagles for HFT Bonds. Wow, rocket launch out of the lows, obviously headline driven nonsense again. I, I'm amazed that we still listen to these guys. You know, he's talking, you know, the EU ministers from the Netherlands talking about using the Cyprus um, situation as a template for other European countries that get into trouble. How do you start a bank run? By telling people that if their bank gets in trouble, they're going to have to lose 10, 20 percent of their savings to pay for the banker's mistakes? Not a great idea. Well, supposedly they backed off on that idea late in the day, but I think maybe the damage was done already. Um, Treasury has obviously rallied strongly. We're still in the range that we saw last week. Um, ten years actually had an outside day bullish reversal. Bonds had a minor reversal and closed with a doji. I want to be a little friendly, but I'm a bit concerned by the lack of curve flattening. Now, a lot of times when we see these flights to quality, the short end will lead the way higher. I don't find those to be as powerfully bullish as they, the, the rallies when the curve flattens. So I think we want to be a little friendly. I see five wave structure on the move up off the lows today. Now I think we're going into a bit of a corrective phase. I just uh, posted some levels in the uh, chat room about where I think we could see this pullback tonight into tomorrow morning go. Tomorrow we start the two-year auction. We have uh, another auction. Every other week it seems like we have an auction. I think the markets will pull back a little bit into tonight's session and probably into tomorrow morning's session. Timing this stuff is darn near impossible because of these headlines. You know, one comes out early in the morning and then the denial comes out later in the day. And you know, why did it take them eight hours to deny something that obviously rocked the markets here? I'm not sure. I, I don't believe any of them. And the, the way the markets are moving around, it seems crazy to me that we're, if we're afraid of governments taking away some of our savings that are in banks or in securities firms, that we're buying U.S. Treasury bonds. Doesn't that seem silly? Why aren't we buying uh, gold or silver? or canned goods or whatever, you know, something that we could use, something enduring, instead of putting our money in the bank at, you know, negative interest rates. It, it, the whole world is just ludicrous. <laughs> it just drives me crazy when I, I look around and things that are going on right now that have become so, um, not commonplace, but we've become so immune to them that you know, if if you were to sit down and think about it for a little while, you'd go, why am I doing that? Wait, 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 what's up with that? I think i got to go to the uh, store and get a little more ammunition, maybe. I don't know. It's always fun to uh, go on the weekends and shoot the guns. But uh, what do we do with this market? I think we're going to see a bit more of a pullback. Um, I don't want to get too negative here. The five-wave structure off the lows looks impressive, but we're still in the darn ranges that we've had for the last two weeks. I'd almost say trade the range, get out of your longs up here against uh, this 143.30, 144 even area on the bonds and 131.24 to 25 area on the, well actually there's resistance levels all over the place up here. You know, you look at the previous uh, move down, anywhere between 131.25 and 134.03, I think I can rip off four different res resistance levels of some significance. It's going to take some work to get through there, and I don't know if a curve steepening flight to quality trade is the trade that we want to see super bullish break out of this range. Got to give the benefit of the doubt to the upside here. Like uh, I think we could pull back pretty far tonight. I'm looking at the possibility of a move back down to 131.14 in the tenure and maybe as much as 143.05 on the downside in the bonds. We'll see. Um, maybe that'll happen tomorrow, you know, in front of the auction. We do have another buyback tomorrow. We also have very little in the way of positions in the market. If you look at the commitment of traders data on the on the treasuries, nobody has anything on. Last Tuesday we saw a small dealer long position still 
Hedge funds had pretty much covered most of their shorts and the small specs had covered most of their shorts too. Now in the intervening time period between last Tuesday and today, the market hasn't done anything. We've had small up days, we've had small down days, we've chopped around in this little range and I think all that's done is take more positions out of the market and not bring in any new positions. So it's like we have a blank slate here. I think some people got long today obviously. We saw pretty good volume on the way up. Um, we didn't break out yet. I'm hoping we're not going to get disappointed. I want to buy the dip tonight and then we'll see, or in the tomorrow morning, and then we'll see what happens with that. Um, if I'm going to try and buy 131.14s, I don't want to see the market trade much below 131.10 on a very short term chart that's the previous first wave high. If we take out that 131.10 level, that tells me we're going back down to the lows again, and that takes away any bullish count I could show you right now. And that's the nature of the beast, unfortunately. Um, take a look at uh, some of these other markets. I think uh, the yen has kind of a similar situation. We've been in this big range. Um, there's some targets on the yen. If we were to rally up towards one, whoa, whoa, let me take a quick look here on the uh, yen chart. 106.98 was today's high. Just a little bit higher than that, I think, as a C equals A measuring objective up off the lows. Don't take that as gospel yet. I wanted to look at that chart and I forgot to do it before I did this video, but uh, I'll take a look at it tonight. We'll see if there's anything going on. I really doubt it. But uh, that's about it. Have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.